John Bon Jovi defends marriage after Michael Strahan says relationship have to be tough for sex symbol star. Joanne Bon Jovi is opening up about his 35-year marriage to his wife, Dorothea Hurley. Welcome to my channel Celebrity United Star News, where you can get news. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow, and I am your buddy. Now, let's get started. Michael Strahan has called out the rocker in a new interview and said that it must have been difficult because John is a sex symbol. John, 62, sat down with Michael, 52, for an ABC News special. He expanded on information that was in his Hulu documentary, Thank You, Good Night, as his band, Bon Jovi, celebrated their 40th anniversary. After going through archives in John's basement, Michael asked the Bon Jovi frontman what was the earliest recording that he had. John said that he had some tapes that predated the band and there was a song called Bobby's Girl. I A D M O O E, all and Joe and B O N J O V I. My friend Bobby's girl was Dorothea. I wrote this right out of high school, he said. Michael tapped him on the shoulder excitedly because Dorothea Hurley is his now wife of 35 years. The two laughed and then sat down to talk more about his career and relationship. John said that he and Dorothea went to the same high school, grew up in the same town, and had the same group of friends so they were bound to meet. That's Nanolans NSC. Being in one of the biggest bands of the 1980s and a sex symbol, according to Michael, he figured that John and Dorothea's relationship had to be tough, but John defended his marriage. It had to be tough on a relationship. You were young, the Good Morning America host said. Who is John Bon Jovi's wife, Dorothea Hurley? That's nonsense, John shot back. But you're a sex symbol, Michael said. I got away with murder. I'm a rock and roll star. I'm not a saint, the rock band legend admitted. You know, I'm not saying there weren't 100 girls in my life. I'm John Bon Jovi. John went on to say, though, that it would have been unwise for him to jeopardize anything just because he had a bit of narcissism in him. It's just not worth it. John continued by saying, what kind of excesses does a man need that's going to fuel that fire? It's just not worth it. Michael said that John mentioned Dorothea is the glue that holds everything together. There is no doubt in my mind that the world revolves because of her, because of what she did to keep the kids right, what she does to keep me right, what we do together to keep it right. No doubt about it, John defended. John and Dorothea Bongiovi's relationship timeline – John is the front man of one of the biggest rock bands in the world, but his relationship with his wife tends to stay under the radar. Here's John and Dorothea's love story. The couple met at Sayreville War Memorial High School and began dating in 1980, three years before Bon Jovi formed. John and Dorothea briefly split in 1985. During that time, he dated Diane Lane for five months. John and Dorothea reconciled shortly after and dated up until 1989. During the band's New Jersey syndicate tour, they spontaneously got married in 1989 in Las Vegas, Nevada. They welcomed their first child and only daughter, Stephanie Rose, in May 1993. Dorothea gives birth to their first son, Jesse James Louise, in February 1995. In 2002, John almost missed the birth of his third child, Jacob Jake Hurley, because he was on tour in New Orleans. They welcomed their fourth and final child, Romeo, in 2004. John credited Dorothea in 2016 for helping him through the departure of Richie Sambora from the band. In 2024, Dorothea accompanied John to the Music Cares Person of the Year gala and later the premiere of his Hulu documentary, Thank You. Good night. The rocker said that Dorothea isn't shy to call him out on something, but they are both there when the other falls. No matter where I went in my career, the ups or the downs, we did it together, he said. Bon Jovi formed in 1983 and Dorothea had been there since before the inception. Wendy Williams' pal thinks she's been forced to silence after vanishing, Eminem's ex makes profit selling $560,000 home she bought with loan from Star. 
The high school sweethearts got married in 1989 in Las Vegas, Nevada. The couple shares four children together, Stephanie, 30, Jesse, 29, Jake, 22, and Romeo Bongiovi, 20. John Bongiovi and Dorothea Hurley had one of the most enduring marriages in the entertainment industry, a fact that had long fascinated fans and media alike. Married in 1989, the high school sweethearts had defied the odds, maintaining a strong and loving relationship despite the pressures of fame and the music industry. Their love story was one for the ages. John, the charismatic lead singer of Bon Jovi, and Dorothea, the woman who had stood by his side long before the world knew his name. Together, they had raised four children and navigated the tumultuous waters of a life in the spotlight. But the scrutiny of their relationship was never ending, and recently, John found himself defending his marriage after a comment made by his friend and fellow celebrity, Michael Strahan. It all began during an interview on Good Morning America, where John was promoting the latest Bon Jovi album. The interview was going well, with John discussing the band's new music and their upcoming tour. Michael Strahan, one of the hosts, shifted the conversation to John's personal life. John, you've been married to Dorothea for over three decades now, Michael began, a friendly smile on his face. That's quite an accomplishment, especially for someone in your position. Being a rock star and a sex symbol, that had to be tough on your marriage, right? John paused, taken aback by the question. He knew Michael didn't mean any harm, but the implication irked him. It wasn't the first time someone had questioned the strength of his marriage, but it never got any easier to hear. Well, Michael, John said, choosing his words carefully, marriage is tough for everyone, regardless of their profession, but I've been lucky to have Dorothea by my side. She's my rock, and we've always faced challenges together. The conversation moved on, but the comment lingered in John's mind. He knew he needed to address it more directly, not just for himself, but for Dorothea and their family. The interview clip quickly made its way to social media, and John's response to Michael's question sparked a flurry of discussions online. Some fans praised John's loyalty and dedication, while others echoed Michael's sentiments, wondering how the couple had managed to stay together through the whirlwind of fame. John decided to take to social media to set the record straight, he posted a photo of himself and Dorothea, taken on their wedding day, alongside a heartfelt message. Marriage is about love, trust, and mutual respect, John wrote. Dorothea and I have faced our share of challenges, but our love for each other has always been the foundation of our relationship. Fame and success have never been as important as our commitment to each other. I'm proud of our journey and wouldn't trade it for anything. The post garnered thousands of likes and supportive comments, reaffirming the love and respect that fans had for the couple. But John knew that actions spoke louder than words, and he wanted to do something special to celebrate their enduring love. With their 35th wedding anniversary approaching, John decided to plan a surprise for Dorothea that would not only celebrate their love, but also show the world the strength of their bond. He enlisted the help of their children, Stephanie, Jesse, Jacob, and Romeo, to organize a private anniversary party. The party would be held at their New Jersey home, a place filled with cherished memories. John wanted it to be an intimate gathering of close family and friends, a testament to the life they had built together. As the plans took shape, John felt a renewed sense of excitement and gratitude. He reflected on their journey, from their high school days in Sayreville, New Jersey, to the heights of rock stardom. Through it all, Dorothea had been his constant, unwavering support. The day of the party arrived, and the Bon Jovi home was filled with warmth and love. Close friends and family gathered to celebrate the couple's milestone, sharing stories and laughter. John and Dorothea's children had gone all out, decorating the house with photos and memorabilia from their parents' life together. As the evening progressed, John took Dorothea's hand and led her to the center of the room. He had written a song for her, a tribute to their enduring love. With his acoustic guitar in hand, he began to play. This song is for you, Dorothea, John said, his voice filled with emotion. 
Thank you for standing by me through everything. I love you more than words can say. The room fell silent as John sang, his voice carrying the depth of his feelings. Dorothea watched him, tears of joy in her eyes. When the song ended, the room erupted in applause, and John pulled Dorothea into a tight embrace. Thank you, John, Dorothea whispered. I love you too, more than anything. After the party, John and Dorothea sat together on the porch, reminiscing about their life together. They talked about the early days of their relationship, the struggles they had faced, and the countless happy moments they had shared. Remember when we first met? John asked, a smile playing on his lips. I was just a kid with a dream, and you believed in me from the start. Dorothea nodded, her eyes sparkling. I always knew you were destined for great things, John, but more importantly, I knew we were destined to be together. John took her hand, his heart swelling with love. You've always been my greatest supporter, Dorothea. I wouldn't be where I am today without you.